So, I'm going to show you a demo of a virtual reality film, a full-screen version of all the information that we capture when we shoot virtual reality. So we're shooting in every direction. This is a camera system that we built. It has 3D cameras that look in every direction and binaural microphones that face in every direction. We take this and we build basically a sphere of a world that you inhabit. So what I'm going to show you is not a view into the world. It's basically the whole world stretched into a rectangle. So this film is called Clouds Over Cedra, and it was made in conjunction with our virtual reality company called Verse and the United Nations, and a co-collaborator named Gabo Aroro. And we went to a Syrian refugee camp in Jordan in December and shot the story of a 12-year-old girl there named Cedra, and her and her family fled Syria through the desert into Jordan, and she's been living in this、uh, camp for the last year and a half. I am 12 years old. I am in the fifth grade. I am from Syria in the Daraa province in Khil City. I have lived here in the Zaatari camp in Jordan for the last year and a half. I have a big family, three brothers. One is a baby. He cries a lot. I ask my father if I cried when I was a baby. And he says I did not. I think I was a stronger baby than my brother. So, when you're inside of the headset, you're not seeing it like this. Like you're looking around through this world. You'll notice you see full 360 degrees in all directions.、Um, and when you're sitting there in her room watching her, you're not watching it through a television screen. You're not watching it through a window. You're sitting there with her. When you look down. You're sitting on the same ground that she's sitting on, and because of that, you feel her humanity in a deeper way. You empathize with her in a deeper way, and I think that we can change minds with this machine. And we've already started to try to change a few. So we took this film to the World Economic Forum in Davos in January. And we showed it to a group of people whose decisions affect the lives of millions of people. And these are people who might not otherwise be sitting in a tent in a refugee camp in Jordan. But in January, one afternoon in Switzerland, they suddenly all found themselves there. And they were affected by it, so we're going to make more of them.、Um, we're working with the United Nations right now to shoot a whole series of these films. We just finished shooting a story in Liberia, and now we're going to shoot a story in India. And we're taking these films and we're showing them at the United Nations to people that work there and people that are visiting there, and we're showing them to the people that can actually change the lives of the people inside of the films. And that's where I think we just start to scratch the surface of the true power of virtual reality. It's not a video game peripheral. It connects humans to other humans in a profound way that I've never seen before in any other form of media. And it can change people's perception of each other. And that's how I think virtual reality has the potential to actually change the world. So, it's a machine, but through this machine, we become more compassionate, we become more empathetic, and we become more connected, and ultimately, we become more human. Thank you.